Hi everyone, welcome to Zynerd's uh, demo on how to view Odisha's closing ranks in Zynerd. Uh, Odisha uh, has uh, uh, different quotas and the quota wise eligibility also we will be looking at here. So basically how on how to select that information when you are looking at that in Zynerd. So uh, you go into insights over here and look at closing ranks and start with Odisha. It will take you to the Odisha uh, closing ranks uh, view here you will have all the closing ranks if you have not gone through the all india demo on how to look at closing ranks the entire demo of zynod on how to look at closing ranks please have a look at it to have an understanding of how everything works but currently we will be looking at how to look at odisha quota wise eligibility and reservation categories so that you can select the right options when you are filtering out based on your eligibility first thing is quota wise eligibility note that odisha provides eligibility uh, for permanent residents of Odisha primarily. This is what Supreme Court order has challenged now. So permanent residents of Odisha, irrespective of wherever they have done their MBBS, they are primarily eligible. Other than that, anybody who has done MBBS from government institutes of Odisha, not private institutes, government institutes of Odisha under AAQ 15 percentage. I am from Karnataka. I did well. I got a seat in Odisha in one of the best medical colleges, SCB, under AAQ 15 percentage. I am eligible in Odisha, but I may not get reservation. Here, they are eligible. Eligible for what seats? One, Odisha government quota seats. So if I go in and then I, have, I am eligible as per any one of these, then I will select which quota? Odisha government quota. And also under the private, uh, under the management quota, you have seats. You will also be eligible for Odisha management quota. These two are seats for those who are permanent residents of India, of Odisha, or those who have done their MBBS from government colleges of Odisha under 15 percentage AAQ. So they are eligible for these set of seats. Odisha is not an open seat uh, state per se. They are also have, they don't have allow resident other anyone other than these set of candidates for those seats. Now note that if the same set of candidates, the same set of seats which are under Odisha's government quota or management quota are also available for in-service candidates of Odisha. So, a percentage is available for in-service candidates of Odisha. Who is an in-service candidate? Completed three years of service under Odisha government or government of India, public sectors located in Odisha, like a PSU that is located, IOC, etc. or defense service in Odisha. If you have done any of these, then you can you are eligible for the management quota of Odisha and in-service seats of Odisha. How are the seats split? Let us say there are seats available in Odisha in a government institute. 50 percentage goes into in state quota, already 50 percent went into All India Counseling, within the seats available, 100 seats are available in SCB, let us say, SCB Katak. In state quota, 100 already went into All India Counseling, 100 is available. 50 percentage of those seats go into Odisha government quota and other 50 percentage goes into in-service. These candidates get 50 percentage, these candidates get 50 seats. That is how it works. It, out of the management seats, it is split as 25, all the management seats, 100 seats are under high tech. All the of them are split as 25 year, 25 year, 25 year and 25 year. So if you belong to particular government, if you belong to, if you are an MBBS from Odisha, you will be able to select these. Basically, very simple selection of quota. I am a permanent resident. I am not an in-service candidate, but I am eligible otherwise as permanent resident or MBBS based on EAQ. I will select this. I am an in-service candidate. I will select this. These are called direct seats. These are called service seats. What we see as in service is say service seats. That is what you will see in the PDFs as well. Let us say I am a candidate. I am selecting these two. I will also select 2024 only till round 3 because till round 3 there was upgradation possible. Beyond that it is a risky thing. If I am going for round 4, lesser number of candidates to compete, lesser seats to participate. It is kind of an either this year extremely lucky or next year kind of a risk that you need to take. Course you can select. Right now let us say I am interested in pediatrics. I can select pediatrics. I can select multiple courses over here as well or I will be able to select clinical over here if I am interested in all the clinicals. Category. Now we come to category. Who is eligible for reservation in category? You are every candidate is eligible for you are. Let us say you are an MBBS, you are an MBBS from uh, Karnataka or any other state and you have done a, a, a MBBS in uh, Odisha under 15 percentage AAQ. You have a Karnataka reservation certificate, SC certificate. You are not eligible for SC in the Odisha uh, uh, counseling. You are eligible for SC in All India counseling. Maybe if you attend Karnataka counseling, you can claim that but you will be only under UR over here and UR PH is for PWD candidates, PWD candidates have reservation anything prior to uh, before you will also you might also have a reservation based for other category based reservation. GC is for green card holders of Gujarat uh, of Go, uh, Odisha, yeah, Odisha candidates who have uh, Odisha candidates who belong to who have been who have availed the green card from the government they will be eligible for this who, if your parents are green, green card holders. UR X is ex-servicemen. 
son, daughter or spouse of ex-defense personnel or candidates who have themselves served in defense services are eligible for this. If it is an ex-serviceman, you get priority. Only after that, currently serving defense personnel will get a priority. And uh, basic rules, so you can select the particular category here. I belong to another state. I don't have an Odisha reservation, then you are. I belong to Odisha, but I have no reservation in Odisha, you are. I belong to SC category, then possibly I'll select SC and you are. The reservation categories are available over here. These are the reservation categories that are available to note that there is no backward class as far as Odisha is concerned. Now here, you can also select ex serviceman green card and PH. Let us say I take you are, I'll be able to see which ranks it closed. Now what I'll do is I'll also select all India rank because currently only all India rank is available. Once the state ranks are available, I'll move on to state rank. Filter sorting options are available. Along with the fee structure, you will be able to figure out what is a fee structure and what is a bond penalty and all the difference, uh, uh, state leaving bond, stipends, etc. Everything is updated. Odisha has a unique thing. These are some of the things that you should not miss out. Let us say I'm selecting preclinical or paraclinicals. We will be doing this every year. I'm taking preclinicals over here and Odisha gives 88,000 as stipend. Candidates will come in and ask, why is it giving that much stipend? Well, the actual Odisha stipend is 70,000. So, such differences, see it twice, will be available in sign -up. Don't miss out even a bit of information. Get the rank, get the justified seat that your rank deserves with as much information as possible. You will have to put in a lot of effort, but it will be made simpler if you have some way to reach out to that information. You can either take up sign -up or any other information. Don't miss that out, such differences where a preclinical seat, let us say, is getting a higher stipend. Why? That question should arise. And you should come back to Zynerd and ask why is that and then we will give you the GO, you will be satisfied and if the GO continues to exist, we will update it for 2025 as well. So those kind of information, please don't miss out. This is how you look at information in Odisha. Basic rules of 2024 as far as rounds are concerned, till round 3, Odisha allowed upgradation. One part we need to add over here is when you go to the rounds, there is 1.5. That is something that we conveniently missed out, right? What is 1.5 over here? After round 1 is over, allotment is done. Odisha says all candidates come in and get admitted in one particular place. If you are interested, you go there. But if you are not interested, you will not go there. Some candidates will fill in choices just like that. All India, they would have got a seat. They are not interested. Odisha does remove them and immediately upgrades. Even before the final admissions, everything is done. Even before the round one completely gets closed and goes to round two, immediately upgrades the list of the candidates to a better round. Somebody might have got a lower preferred seat. They, that person might be upgraded because someone did not get admitted during that short two days, three days time period. Somebody might have not got a seat at all because someone did not join, they might get a better seat. So there is a small upgradation that happens like another round, a sub round kind of after candidates go in and confirm their admission. So that is available in Odisha. That is called 1.5. That is a round that has been there till since the last two years. So that is a new thing. You will have to be very clear after round one is over, you have to go confirm whether you need that seat. Otherwise, you will lose that seat or that will be an upgradation where somebody else will pick that seat. And then you can go to round two for upgradation, round three for upgradation. That is possible in Odisha. In Odisha, note that round three onwards, it was offline. Mop-up, they call it, or round three mop-up or stray and special stray, it was offline. You, from round three to stray, you will not be able to... Uh, uh, attend after registration of round one you will or any round if there is a fresh registration you can you will have to go for a physical verification and that dates will be published in odisha state ranks we will refer from round three because fresh registration was allowed in round three last year and there was an addition of ranks last year in round three so please Look at this information, like I already said, filter till round 3 including 1.5, use AA ranks till state ranks are published and use state ranks after state ranks are published. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want very detailed information, follow Zainat, the roundwise rules of Odisha too, we will do it separately. Thanks a lot for watching.